Friday evening and to come we are hop harvesting, we are also sledging and meeting the talented Herefordshire triathlete who's made it through to the World Championships in Hawaii. Wowee. Uh, first though and before all that, a former UKIP MEP who represents the two counties says his party leader wants candidates without a brain to contest the next European election. Former Deputy Leader Mike Natras has quit the party in protest at what he's described as Nigel Farage's totalitarian leadership. He is angry because he was told by the party he wasn't good enough to stand as a candidate in 2014. He claimed only cronies of Mr Farage were being picked to stand. I think Nigel's wrong in in trying to inflict this kind of totalitarianism on the party. It's a one-man party, really. And because he doesn't like certain people, he will exclude them from the list. I was excluded because I ask questions. I always do. And there are two other MEPs in there who I fear for because I think they'll be next to go. I'm sure they will because they've been downgraded and the members are being told not to vote for them because they're low down on the list. But they're good people. People, they ask questions in the meetings. It's the ones who sit there with their head in their hands who haven't got a brain. They're the ones he wants left on the list so he can dominate the party. And then he turned around at the meeting and said, the Constitution was passed by 91.8% of the membership and the NEC is entitled at the end to select the candidate. Well, it's like flying on an aeroplane. You tick the box because you have to, to say you've, you've accepted the conditions of the, of the airline. And in this particular case, the members tick the box and said they agreed with the Constitution. But nobody reads it. And if you read it, it's a, apparently a bag of worms. There he is, Mike Natras. Uh, he's the second UKIP MEP in the West Midlands to quit. Nikki Sinclair also did in 2009. Uh, she's listening to that now. Nikki, um, what do you think listening to Mike Natras speak there? Good afternoon. Well, I certainly recognise uh, his description of Nigel Farage, and it's obviously criticisms I had at the time, and also the links with um, extremism, Holocaust, denies, etc., in the European Parliament, which still exists today. Uh, unfortunately, it's true. You know, I was in UKIP pretty much from its, when it started. I had high hopes for it. We, we were there because we believed in something. We believed in a principle. And Nigel Farage has become a dictator. And it's not, you know, it's not just me that's fallen out with him. It's not just Mike Natras. Five of the seven previous leaders have fallen out with Nigel Farage. Um, nine of the 18 different MEPs that have been ever elected have fallen out with Farage. I think 72 former members of the National Executive. You know, it's, it's a huge role of people. And it is a bit like the Stalinist show trials. If you do not agree with Farage, you will be kicked out. But he's the boss. It's his prerogative, isn't it? Well, it, de- well, it depends on what you think is politics. Do you want a one-man dictatorship? Stalin was the boss of Russia. Did, did, uh, Hitler was the, the boss of Nazi Germany. Is that fine? You know, it, it cannot be. That's not the society that we wish to live in. We, 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 we live in a consensus society. Um, and so, yeah, and unfortunately, that's what UKIP has become. He puts himself as forward as the man in the pub with a pint. I've never drink, saw Nigel Farage ever drink a pint. He's always a wine man and a very expensive wine man. That, that. It's a complete sham, um, which, you know, is why, you know, uh, for example, what has UKIP actually ever done? You know, it, they've never actually done anything. They get elected, but the only positive thing that's ever been done is the 100,000 petition that forced the debate in Parliament and really kick-started this referendum thing. And that was my campaign that done that. So if one MEP can do that, what were all the other UK MEPs doing? Do they've th- got the lowest attendance in Parliament. They do absolutely no work. Um, and so, so, so I've been proactive. For example, I've delivered three tonnes of food to food banks within the area. That's the type of activity that UKIP simply doesn't do. Do you think there's a future for the party? Do you think more people will quit? Well, loads of people quit. I've given you the list already. Five mm. of seven leaders, the previous seven but, leaders... But eventually, will Nigel Farage. Farage be on his own? Well, he won't be, he'll be on his own, because there's always people that will, that will, that will you know, be his cronies, as Mike Natra said. And that's the reality. You know, will people will always go to these people in power. The fact is, though, he is a one-man party. UKIP is a one-man party. It doesn't do what it says in the tin. They go, they go there, take all the expenses, all the money, and do little work for it, okay. as opposed to others to us who actually do try to do that by getting Britain out of the EU by actually working. All right. Thank you, Nikki Sinclair.